Hey, welcome back to the box office breakdown for the weekend of September 30th to October 2nd. There was a movie out there that put a big old grin on people's faces, and it was Smile. <laughs> Stupid puns, Huck. But did the rest of the box office hold up? Not so much. All that more right after this. All right, gang, now before we jump on this box office breakdown, if you're new to my channel, get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack that bell, look, we do tons of fun stuff here, not just these box office breakdowns, but I also get out there and I do Blu-ray hunts for you guys that are a lot of fun, do unboxings, movie reviews, top tens, I go out to local exhibits and conventions and give you full tours of those bad boys. I do live morning shows every Tuesday morning, and I have trivia contests that are tons of fun. In fact, this Wednesday, yes, new day, new time, 6.15 Pacific Standard Time and 9.15 Eastern Standard Time, where we're going to have an all-ladies battle. So, my friends, if you are around this Wednesday night, please come check out this battle. It is going to be on fire. Also, over on Bob's Blu-ray's YouTube channel, I'm going to be part of the Steelbook Slipcover Tournament Round 2 battle, where, of course, I will be part of the slipcover portion of that battle. It's going to be an all-star cast, so come check that out as well. All right, let's get to this box office breakdown. At number one, we had Big Old Smile. Uh, <laughs> whatever. $22 million at the box office gave it the number one slot. That was a pretty good opening. That was above expectations for that film. And quite frankly, at 22 million, that's the best opening for nearly two months since Bullet Train. So, you know, we need some blockbusters to kick in to keep this box office robust. It's still pretty down because after that, coming in at number two, Don't Worry Darling, which was number one last week, is down to 7.3 million this weekend. So to give it number two spot. And then at number three is The Woman King, still holding strong in that top five. Got 6.9 million at the number three slot. Now, when it came out a couple of weeks ago, it didn't get 22 million. So, so Smile even bested like Don't Worry Darling and The Woman King with their openings. So, you know, we'll just see how all these movies hold on. Coming out next is the big comedy that they thought was hoping going to resurrect the uh, the comedy was Bros, but Bros only pulled in 4.8 million on its opening weekend. We only had three new movies in the top 10, and those were two, Smile and Bros. So yeah, Bros, man, Bros only pulled in 4.8 mil. It looks funny. Um, maybe it's one of those films that good word of mouth will, will keep it around, or at least Maybe when it hits streaming, it'll get a nice spike. So, all right, but at number five, we have Avatar, the re-release of Avatar. So that bodes well for the, re the, the, the release of the new movie coming out in December that audiences are still hanging in there, keeping it in the top five. Just to check out this uh, original Avatar before it comes out. So, I mean, you know, that, that beat out a lot of other movies that are brand new. <laughs> so here they come. Bottom five, we have, um, I'm trying to get this right for you. Uh, Pony in Selvan is a movie that came out and got uh, four million at the box office for the number six spot. Next up is Barbarian, scaring up another two point eight million. Bullet Train cruising along at number eight with another one point four million. DC League of Super Pets staying good, staying good. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as strong. Uh, one point three million at the box office. I should have said barking up a storm. Oh, whatever, too late. Uh, and Top Gun Maverick. Still soaring with another 1.2 million at the box office to give it that number 10 slot. That is it, everybody, for the top 10 at the box office for this past weekend. Now, let's head over to your favorite streaming services and see what's number one. All right, let's just plow right through these over here on Netflix. We have Last Seen Alive, starring Gerard Butler, was the top movie over there. And uh, once again, Dahmer, Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story, uh, topped the TV portion of Netflix. Over on HBO, DC League of Super Pets, still in the top 10 in the box office, and now it's uh, doing well over here. Number one there, and House of Dragon, topping the television portion over there. And finally, over on Disney+, Plus, something came along to dethrone four, and that was Hocus Pocus 2. In fact, Hocus Pocus 1 was number two. So people are definitely brushing up on their Hocus Pocus so they can watch Hocus Pocus 2. Uh, we actually watched Hocus Pocus on Saturday, and uh, it, was, it was a pretty cute movie. I gotta say, it was kind of charming. The witches are hilarious. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'm hearing not so great things about part two, but we'll check it out and see if we like it. 
Uh, and on the TV side, She-Hulk Attorney at Law is still at number one. It's beating out Star Wars and or, at least according to the uh, the polls here on Flix Patrol, it is still She-Hulk beating out Star Wars. Now, Amazon Prime, we have Memory starring Liam Neeson is your number one there. And of course, the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power is the top television show there. At Paramount Plus, The Lost City, Steve keeps having a, a good playtime, man. It keeps coming and going into the top slot. And it's hugging out in the top 10 in the box office. So yeah, top in the charts there. And NCIS is the television charter over there. On Hulu, we got Moonfall. Because you know people love that Moonfall. Uh, as the top movie over there with House of Dragon also doing well on Hulu. So I guess, you know, HBO's got a little little uh, back scratching going on with Hulu, so they're they're able to put it out there in multiple platforms. And of course, topping those paid portions, Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, and Vudu was our Top Gun Maverick. Coming out in one month, it will finally be on physical media, so uh, get it in now if, if you want it on streaming, but personally, I'm waiting for physical media so I can scoop up that 4K. It's going to be awesome. All right, my friends, that is your top 10 at the box office, your top 10s, the top charters at the your streaming services. Remember, on this Wednesday, I have my uh, trivia contest coming up. That's the all-lady battle with all these amazing women that are just going to kick ass and take names, and it's going to be a lot of fun. If you still haven't taken any of my challenges, I have four of them up right now. It's basically an A to Z challenge, an actor, actress, and director challenge that I think you would all have fun partaking in. It's never too late. Even if you haven't done A to Z, jump on back and start at A to Z and plow through them. And you are going to want to start at the front, and you'll find out why. Because as you get to the directors, it gets very difficult. But yeah. And don't forget about the Slipcover Tournament Round 2 that I'm going to be part of tonight. So please stop by Bob's Blu-ray's YouTube channel and check us out tonight. All right, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. Please get on down there one more time. Hit like, subscribe, and smack that bell so you get notified all of these things when they drop. So when that trivia comes, you'll get notified. Just hit that bell. All right, that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much. Until next time, whether you love going to the movies, whether you're a stay-at-home streamer, or you love collecting physical media, get out there and enjoy some movies.